Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about modes. Modes are basically like the major and minor scale, except they have their whole steps and half steps in different places. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We have a C major scale up on the, up on the screen here. Uh, if I move this whole C major scale up a step without adding any accidentals, so move it diatonically up a step, I'm going to have my first mode, which is called Dorian. So Dorian, you'll notice, doesn't have the leading tone that the major scale had. Uh, if you listen to it, it doesn't quite sound like the minor scale, but it doesn't sound like the major scale either. Okay, and we can keep doing that. We move it up and up. The next one is called Phrygian. This one's pretty audibly uh, recognizable because it has a half step that begins it. This E to the F. It's very, very strange, especially when you're coming back down. My next one is Lydian. Lydian sounds like the major scale, except the fourth scale degree, instead of, uh, if this was an F major scale, it would be a B flat. It's a B natural, so it's, it sounds, well, it sounds to me like happy elves. I don't know quite why. The next one, if we go up another step, is called Mixolydian. Mixolydian, again, sounds like the major scale, except instead of the leading tone, we have a whole step at the end. Okay, we keep going up. We have what you hopefully will recognize as the natural minor scale. Its modal name is Aeolian. And then one more, and we have Locrian, which is very, very rarely used uh, for a couple of reasons. One, its first to fifth scale degrees make a tritone, which makes it inherently unstable. And the second is that the uh, tonic note of this scale is the leading tone of the original scale. So C major was our original scale. This uh, B is the leading tone. It's going to make everything sound like it just wants to keep going up. So we listen to this one. You'll hear that it gets to the end, and your ear wants it to just go one more step and get back to C. You hear that C, right? It's, it, it comes out even though it's not there. So it makes it very hard to make this scale sound like it's final. Okay, so let's talk about how to write these modes. Uh, easy enough in C major, you just move things up and down, and you could do that for any key. So if you know you want uh, the Dorian key that starts on E flat, you could say, all right, well, E flat is a second scale degree of D flat major. So if I write my D flat major scale and then move everything up one step, uh, and keeping this accidentals the same, then that's fine. Uh, you could do it also by figuring out the whole steps and the half steps. That would be great too. There's probably an easier shortcut way to do it, and that's to think of it uh, in terms of two groups, the Dorian and the Phrygian, which use the minor scale as their base, and the Lydian and Mixolydian, which use the major scale. So let's look at those first two. And you'll notice if you're trying to remember these modes and the order they come in, uh, it's Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. Now, if you want a mnemonic for that, it's I don't particularly like modes a lot. Easy to remember, right? Okay, so let's deal with Dorian and Phrygian. So first of all, if, first of all, if you want uh, C Dorian, what you're going to do is you're going to write the C natural minor scale, which we can all do. We know how to put that together with the whole steps and half steps. Uh, and then what you're going to do for Dorian is raise the sixth scale degree. So the natural minor scale sounds like this. We recognize that. So what we're going to do is raise the sixth scale degree, and we're going to end up with Dorian, C Dorian. Okay, easy enough, right? Uh, for Phrygian, what you're going to do is lower the second scale degree. So find the second scale degree, D, make it D flat in this case, and there we have C Phrygian. So you hear that really distinctive half step. Okay, so Dorian, write the natural minor scale, raise the sixth, 
scale degree, uh, Phrygian, right, uh, natural minor scale, and lower the second scale degree. Same thing works with Lydian and Mixolydian. I'm not going to ask you to write Locrian scales, and I don't know that there's much point to it. So here is my uh, major scale, D major scale. So if I wanted to write D Lydian, I'd take that major scale, and then I'd find the fourth scale degree and raise it a half step. So here we have D Lydian. And then uh, Mixolydian, also pretty easy. So we go back to having the major scale, and instead of raising something, we lower the seventh scale degree. And that just gives me D Mixolydian. Okay, so what I'm going to have you try, I have the G major scale here. Uh, why don't you try writing G Lydian? Okay, hopefully you said, oh, well, I already have the G major scale. All I need to do is sharp that fourth scale degree, and I have G Lydian. So now try it again. I'm going to make this G minor. Now write me G Phrygian. And what you should say is, okay, I have my G natural minor scale. I'm going to lower that second scale degree, and I have G Phrygian. Okay, so uh, let's try going the other way real quick. So we have this scale here that we've been given. We have to figure out what it is. This is going to become infinitely easier when you know key signatures, uh, because you'll be able to say, all right, well, what key signature has these five flats? And then figure out what uh, the relation of this, or what scale degree the, the first note of the scale is. Uh, for now, though, until we know key signatures, what we can do is say, okay, well, this looks kind of like the F minor scale, right? So what has been changed from the F minor scale? Well, it's the G has been flatted. Okay, so if we know that it's an F minor scale with the flattest second scale degree, we know it's F for June. So that's until we get key signatures under our belts. That's a pretty easy way of figuring out what the mode is. Just write it up and, uh, and then figure out what has been changed. Okay.